If you don't respond quickly, a new lead can go cold in minutes. But if you automate an email to go out to a new prospect, you can stay top of mind before they go to your competition. Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of our Pipedrive training videos. Now, do you have an online inquiry form that prospects fill in and then you get an email with their details which you still have to manually respond to individually? If so, you are losing conversions and revenue because a prospect who has probably filled out an online form with your competition has already gone elsewhere before you've even had a chance to respond. The good news is this is an easy problem to solve using automation in Pipedrive. I'll show you how to set it up. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Now, if you don't already have a form on your website that leads can fill in, the easiest way to set this up is using the web forms feature inside Pipedrive. Now, I have a whole video showing how to set up a web form, which we're gonna link up here if you haven't done this already. Uh, but to run you through what I've done for this demo, I've got this simple request a quote form. And I've filled, I've set up all the fields that, of the information that I need to collect. I want the person to tell me their name, email, phone, which product are you interested in? And I want them to type a message. On my submit options, I've said, when the form is filled in, this is gonna create a deal on my sales pipeline and the deal is gonna go into my qualified lead stage and I will be the owner of the deal and I will also receive an email notification at my email. And I've put in here, this is gonna be important later when we build the automation, I've put in a prefix for the deal title. So it's gonna be a request a quote form is gonna be added to the deal title. Once I'm happy with my form, I can um, grab the HTML and I can embed this on my website. Or in this case, I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And here is my form that my prospect can now fill in. Now, before I create the automation, I should point out that automation is a feature of the growth plan here and above. So if you're on the light, you will need to get at least growth in order to use these automation features. And if you're new to Pipedrive, you can request a quote from Minico for your subscription here. We'll put the link up here and in the description. You can purchase through us and we will provide you with a discount off these retail prices. Now, if I go back to Pipedrive, the other thing I need to do before I create my automation is make sure I have my email template ready. This is the email that we're going to automatically send. So if you come to your sales inbox here and click on new email, you will need to already have your Gmail or Microsoft email connected. And from this choose template menu, I can manage my templates. And I've already set up a couple that I'm going to use to email the new prospect if they're inquiring about a spa or a sauna. So you can see I've set up my email. I've actually personalized it with the person's name. So I've inserted the first name into my email and my subject. That way I can actually respond in a more personal way. And whatever name they type into that form will be inserted into this email. So I'm saying thank you for your inquiry. Please find attached our product brochure. Is there a time later today that I can call to discuss specifically what you're looking for? Now, quick sales tip here. When you do automate an email to someone, to a new lead, make sure you include a clear call to action. So in this case, I've said, is there a time later today that I can call? Or you might say, please book a time with me here to discuss your custom quote. Or um, click here to view more information on our website. Wh whatever it is for your sales process, make sure you tell the prospect the action you want them to take. So often we have clients come to us, we look at some of the emails they're using, and it's not actually clear what the prospect should do to move forward or take the next step. Now, once I'm happy with my email, I'm gonna go to the automations area in Pipedrive, and we're gonna click the green plus automation button. Uh, I'll start by giving this a new uh, a name. So we'll say new web lead automated email. Okay, now automations start with a trigger. So what is the event that happens that kicks off the automation? So we're gonna start with a deal up, uh, deal added trigger, because when the deal is created, we want to trigger the automation. Now, I probably don't want to trigger this automation for every deal that we create. For instance, if I manually create a deal, uh, I'm gonna follow up personally manually. So I'm gonna put in a condition here, add custom condition, where I check that the deal title contains, and I'm gonna paste in that text from the 
um, from the submit options earlier. You remember back here, we've put in the request a quote form prefix into our deal title. So I'm only gonna allow this automation to run if the deal title contains request a quote form. I also want to send different emails based on the type of inquiry. So if they request information about a spa or a sauna, I've got different email templates ready to go. This is where we're gonna use the new if else conditions. This feature came out fairly recently. We were really excited when this came out because it allows us to create more powerful automations. So I can say, for example, if they are interested in is, so this is one of my custom fields, if they are interested in a spa, then if that condition is true, we're gonna go down this path here and I'm gonna add my action step. So we're gonna choose from here are all of our actions. We're gonna use the email, send email using template option. And I just need to specify what parameters I want to um, include in my email. So we're gonna make sure we use my signature. We're gonna turn tracking on. And now I can say, right, we are gonna send this email to the deal contact person email. So the primary contact on the deal, that person's email. We're gonna use my new lead spa template, which I've already prepared. And um, we're gonna make sure we use uh, the, for the email template deal. We're gonna choose the deal from our trigger. And same, we're gonna use the deal contact person as the person. That just means that the, the first name field that you saw is gonna be populated by the, the deal contact. I'm gonna make sure my signature is added and we track opens and link clicks because that's very useful. So there we go. So now if they're interested in a spa, we send an email using our new spa template. If the condition is not met, I could then put in another if else condition and I can check if the interested in field is, and this time we're gonna use sauna. So if they're interested in a sauna, we go down this path here, the condition is met, and we are going to choose, an, uh, same as before, another action using our template and same settings as before. There we go. So now if they're interested in a sauna, if that condition is met, we send a different email using our new lead sauna template. So that's great. Um, we can, I could continue this. I might do one more nested if else condition if they're interested in a cold plunge. I could set up my third email for that type of inquiry. Um, and actually one other thing I would probably do here is I'm actually going to, um, before we split down into, these, uh, into this condition here, I'm actually gonna put an action in here because as well as emailing them, that's great. But what I really want my sales team to do is try calling as well. So we're gonna put an activity in here so we're going to say, um, we're going to make sure that we call new lead. This is going to be a call. It's going to be due the same day in my time zone. Assign this to the deal owner. So whoever the owner of the deal is, that person is going to be assigned the, uh, the activity. We're going to make sure this activity gets linked to the deal the organization, if you're using organizations, and the deal contact person. So it's gonna create an activity for me to call, but because I might not call straight away, we're gonna automate that email to go out based on the type of inquiry. Actually, I'm curious, and leave me a comment down below and tell me, how long would you personally wait to receive a response after you've inquired somewhere before you move on and go to a competitor? Check out what I've said in the comments down below. So with my automation finished now, I've saved it, I've turned it on up here. Now we need to give this a test. It's always important to test your automations because maybe we've missed a step. So I've filled in this online request a quote form, name, email, phone. I'm um, interested in a sauna and I may be interested in a cold plunge if they can offer a package deal. So let's submit that now. Once that's submitted, I can go back to uh, Pipedrive, go to my deals and my deal has already been created in the system here. You can see it's got the request a quote form prefix that we set up from our form submission settings. Uh, I can see the call new lead activity has been assigned to me, Paul, as I am the deal owner up here. I can see the details of my form inquiry um, and or what the person said down here. And I can also see that the email with the initial information has been sent. So this has already gone out straight away. As soon as the prospect fills in the form, they get an email so we know that, or they know They've got my inquiry and they're gonna be in touch shortly. Now, as long as I'm a good salesperson and I call them straight away, I now have a much higher likelihood of closing this deal.
Now, if you don't have time to set up web forms or create automations like this, then book an introductory call with our team to learn more about our Pipedrive support and consulting options. We have worked with hundreds of Pipedrive users and saved them thousands of hours by building automations that help them to convert and close more deals. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a like if you found it useful. It is the best way to support this channel, and I'll see you in the next video.